and thanks for joining us here for Wake Up Charlotte to Go. I'm Ben Thompson. Without further ado, let's go ahead and send it over to Larry Sprinkle with a look at your forecast, Larry. Hey, good morning. It's going to be a nice day today. I'm Mr. Sparky, Carolina Camera Network shot looking to the east. It is clear skies. Here it is hour by hour by about 10 this morning. We're in the mid 50, 65 degrees at 1 o'clock and 4 p.m. this afternoon. Sunshine, blue skies. Mid 60s, so above average today. We have a drop of the temperatures from tomorrow into the weekend, then a nice rise in the temperatures next week. A couple days we could be in the low 70s. And the other great thing about our weather is that we're going to be pretty much rain free for the next seven days as well. Check out those temperatures today. Uh, for the most part, low 50s, Boone, Fleetwood, Jefferson, over towards Bowling Rock, 49 at Band Rock, but sunny skies there. Anywhere from Lenore, Morgan, and Hickory, Taylorsville, all the way to Maiden in the mid 60s there in the foothills of Piedmont, the upstate, the Charlotte metro area unseasonably mild today with our highs in the mid to upper 60s east of here. The spots that may get to 70 would be Chester, Lancaster and over towards uh, around Chesterfield, maybe even Rockingham. Check the 70 forecast taken into the weekend. We mentioned today mid to upper 60s cooler tomorrow. A little bit cool over the weekend, but you know it's going to be rain free. Not too many complaints about that. Monday we're average 59 mid 60s on Tuesday and by Wednesday of next week, sunny skies and close to 70 degrees. Seven days of just pretty close to perfect weather, Ben. Pretty perfect indeed, Larry. Thank you. Turning now to our top stories of the morning. This morning, thousands of more people in Mecklenburg County and surrounding counties are going to be able to make an appointment to get a COVID vaccine. Good morning, I'm Billie Jean Shaw. Take a look at your screen. If you fall into any of these categories, that means you are eligible to book your vaccine appointment starting at 830 this morning here in Mecklenburg County. The availability begins March 10th all the way into March 31st. Now you can book two different ways. Go online at starmed.care or you can call the county's COVID hotline number 980-314-9400. Good Thursday morning. Safe health officials say they want to provide COVID testing at all of its schools. There's a plan for schools to opt in. If they do, teachers can be tested every week. Students who have COVID-19 symptoms or have been in close contact, along with adults who have been in close contact with people with COVID-19 can also get these tests. This is just what the state health leaders say is an extra layer of protection. There are still appointments left today for a large COVID vaccine clinic in Fort Mill. The city partnering with Harris Teeter to give hundreds of shots at the community center there. You can sign up on Harris Teeter's website. Vaccine appointments in South Carolina still reserved for health care workers and folks 65 and up. The state will open things up to the next group of people starting Monday. I'm Tracy Potts. Despite this latest threat that shut down half the Capitol, the Senate is working today and they'll start debating COVID relief, but only after the entire 700 page bill is read. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson is calling for that, which could delay debate up to 10 hours and push a vote on those $1,400 checks and other relief into the weekend. Time now to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. Marge Madness is coming back. It officially kicks off next weekend with Selection Sunday, and a lot had to happen to bring back the big dance. Many sports leagues had to cut their season short because of the pandemic, but things are slowly starting to get back to normal. Let's connect the dots. One of the first major hits to the sports world in 2020 came with the NCAA called off March Madness for the first time ever. The NCAA had hoped to go forward with the tournament with increased COVID measures like no fans, but was forced to cancel just days before tip-off. Fast forward to 2021, March Madness is set to get underway, but it will look like no other. The biggest change? All games will be played in Indiana. Normally, the tournament sends teams to venues across the country. When it comes to safety, all players and staff will be under strict COVID-19 guidelines. This means testing negative before arriving in Indiana, wearing contact tracing devices, social distancing, and wearing masks. As for fans, some will be allowed to attend games, but only at 25% capacity. And that is Connecting the Dots. Now to some stories to keep you and your family safe and sound. A major change coming to Steak and Shake, the chain replacing its service with self-serve kiosks. Reports say instead of sitting down at a table and ordering from a person, you'll place an order through a computer. The chain's parent company says preparing food has taken too long in the past and paying wait staff for table services too expensive. Well, if you get the munchies late at night, grab some string cheese. Experts say that's one of the best late night snacks. Some others include nuts, Greek yogurt, fruit, 
popcorn, whole wheat toast with peanut butter. I mean, some of those sound pretty good, but some of the worst thing you can eat, pizza, sugary cereal, and chips. Precisely, I would argue, the things you want for a late night snack. Who wants an apple for a late night snack? You can join us every single weekday morning starting 4.30 a.m. for Wake Up Charlotte.